stage right now. That's right. You might know him, Mr. 561. Yes, sir. He got a Del Rey. I just found him. That's that man right there. Cerebral palsy, we're from Delray Beach, Florida. He's your world's biggest fan. He's in the DJ club in Florida, and we teach children how to be DJs that are differently able. So Rex is one of those DJs, and his yes, sir. DJ name is Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> okay. um, Rex says, I'm very impressed with your work at the Vic. Plus your ability to connect to persons of all ages, races, and colors through your music. Who or what persons have had the greatest influence on your life? Well, for one, I want to say to Rex, okay, when anybody here is feeling down on the day, those right there are the survivors. People like Rex are the strongest ones. People like them don't let anything in life hold them back. And no matter what it may look like, he's doing what he wants to do, he's DJing. I'm going to talk to you about somebody that I know, similar to Rex's story. And his name is DJ Laz, the pimp with the limp. And you see Laz when he walks, he hits you with the, you know, he hits you with the limp, right? But it gets to the point that you don't even see him limping no more, because he believes in himself that much. He was that strong, he motivated himself that much, inspired himself that much. To the point where he inspired and motivated me and gave me an opportunity to be able to break my music in Miami. Well, it's really our music, you know? So as far as people that motivated me growing up, I was very blessed to grow up in Miami-Dade County, 305. Because it's, it's a melting pot. So I grew up around Bahamians, Jamaicans, Haitians, Dominicans, Ricans, Colombians, Venezuelans, Nicaraguans. Mexicans, you know, El Salvador, Panama, I mean, you name it. Yeah, come on, all the Cubanos on the other side. But, I learned, los gringos también, es that. But y'all kind of left Dade County, y'all went up the Broward and up the West Palm. Nah. <laughs> now, but with that said, real talk is that I got a chance to be around so much music and so many different cultures that it gave me uh, the ability and it didn't scare me to think outside the box. So a person that I loved listening to when I was a jit, when I was a kid, was uh, Celia Cruz, La Reina. But the reason that she was so powerful to me, because no matter what Celia went through in life, and she had to lead the country, and she had such a pair of balls, to be honest with you. That she stepped up and said, no, nah, I'm not performing for Castro. Do what you want to do with me. And I respect that coming from her. And anytime she hit the stage, you, you see Celia with this big smile. And that always inspired me. On top of that, like I said, look how crazy the, the music I grew up around. You had Two Light Crew. You had Trick Daddy. You know, obviously you had Pop. You had Big. You had Nas. You had Snoop. And... My brother was somebody that was great at stealing cassette tapes, so he had shoeboxes full of cassettes that I could get my hands on. And I got to listen to so much different music, not only on the English side, also on the Spanish side. Salsa, merengue, bachata. Then you have freestyle music, you know, David Dez, Stevie B, TKA, Lisa Lisa. And that is what inspired me to be able to make music 